Hey y'all, it's Lissa, aka Bangs and Glasses. I'm back with a um, scrapbook share video for you all. Um, happy Sunday if you're watching this um, on Sunday. Um, so these layouts are um, basically the layouts I created since my last layout share video. Um, I did most of these during um, Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, um, which I think was in February. If I'm remembering correctly, February, March. Um, so I have, um, I think it's 17 layouts to share with you all. A lot of them have older Maggie Holmes products in them, um, which I'm excited to get used up. Um, so I have these layouts, and then I'm going to have another layout share video for you soon, hopefully, um, with some more layouts I've been creating that um, are just from our trip to Santa Fe that we took last year. Uh, so I have more layouts that I've created since this pile, but um, I wanted to share this stack with you all. So this first layout is called Grammy, Grammy Thimbles, and it's just a photo of my grandmother's thimble collection, which I inherited from her, and it hangs in my craft room now. Um, so this layout is all made from Maggie Holmes' open book. That's one of my favorite collections, and probably one of my oldest Maggie Holmes collections that I have. Um, so I'm trying to work through it and get it used up. So I just used a lot of the cut aparts to kind of form this layer. And then I added the photo in the middle. Next, I have this layout, which is also from Maggie Holmes. Um, I think it's confetti. And um, this I know for sure was for 30 Days of Sketches. Um, this photo is just of my mantle. Um, I had the sign that said Happy New Year 2019. Um, yeah, this was like one of my first photos from 2019 that I got to finally put on a layout. Next, we have this layout, which is kind of hard to, um, read. It's very busy. Um, I used the, like, collage paper from, um, Crate Paper Wild Heart. These are some photos from Labor Day. Um, I just went to an antique store and I dressed up and just celebrated Labor Day by going and doing some of my favorite things. Um, so I was really excited to break into this collection. I hadn't really used a lot of it yet. Um, so it's exciting to use one of the papers. This is what the paper looks like on the back. And I really like how that came out, even though it's very busy. Um, I still wanted to use the collage paper as one piece. Okay, next, um, this layout is called Long Hair Problems. It's a photo of my husband, and he's studying. This is when he had very, very long hair. And he had to use some, like, bobby pins to pin his hair back so he could read <laughs> and see what he was working on. Um, so these papers are from Vicki Booten. I don't know what the name of the collection is. On the front it says Art for Everyone, but I don't think that's actually the collection title. So if you know what collection this is from, definitely let me know down below. Um, and then some of the uh, ephemera and stuff is from Maggie Holmes' open book. And then I also just added in some random bits and pieces that I was trying to use up. Um, I also did some um, splatters on here. Really like how that came out too. Just getting to use a whole bunch of different ephemera. On one layout. Okay next I have this layout um, which is called 2020 election so this is when um, the election was settled. I think it's really important to like also document historical events in your scrapbooking. I think those will be really cool to look back on um, you know in the future with your future children, my future grandchildren just to like be able to recount that time in history. Um, so I use this cut apart from um, the Simple Stories Quarantined collection. It's called History in the Making, and I just wrote all about what was going on during that time. Um, this background paper I know is from Dear Lizzie, and it already had white splatters, and I just added in some gold splatters um, as well. I wanted to use red, white, and blue, and these stars, I believe, are either from Colorcast Designs or Inner Creativity. I'm not sure which, um, but I'll link the correct one down below. So I was glad to get that documented. Next, this layout, I really like how it turned out. I was able to get four photos on one page. 
Um, it's called The Good Life, and I got to use more of my Maggie Holmes Marigold collection, which is a collection I really like using. I love all the fall colors, the darker, deeper colors I think are great for fall. And they have these cute little owls, which are my favorite. Um, so these are photos of me just working from home, and you can see, you know, the leaves have changed. Um, this was like a day where it, it was chilly, like one of the first fall feeling days that we had. Um, so I wanted to document that. I also got to use this fun deer on there. And I used this pear paper, which I did was not sure how I was going to use, but I think it looked good um, with the colors that are in my photos. Okay, next, um, this is called Love This Mug. And it's using papers from Dear Lizzie. And then the um, like flowers and stuff are from Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams. Um, so I got to use some chipboard. Um, this is just documenting my favorite mug. Um, it was like one of my newer mugs at the time. And it says Forever Newlyweds. It's from Target. So it's just like a fun random photo that I wanted to document um, from early quarantine life. And I know this sketch was on um, 30 Days of Sketches as well. Okay, next, this is called Bloom and Grow. This is a um, mixed media page that I did, one of the first mixed media um, pages that I've done. I wanted to do this kind of like dripping rainbow effect. And uh, this layout, it just shows um, some of the like flowers that were around our house when we first moved in. We have beautiful hydrangeas in our front bed. Um, they're so pretty. I'm excited to see them starting to bloom soon, hopefully. Um, they're starting to come up again, so that is exciting. And I got to use some more Maggie Holmes uh, Chasing Dreams, I believe. It's either Chasing Dreams or Gather um, chipboard on here, so that adds some nice dimension. Next, this laid out is called Love Our New Home. Um, I was very excited to do this layout. This is documenting when we first moved into our house. Um, so I wanted to create this house shape on here. This was inspired by Shannon Allor. She's crafty. Hey, Shannon, if you're watching. Uh, I know she did a layout where there was like this triangle in the middle, and I thought that was perfect uh, to document us moving into our new home. Um, so this home paper is from Snowball Stories Quarantined. Um, and then a lot of these stickers are foam stickers from Hobby Lobby. I also got to use some acrylic pieces um, from Colorcast Designs, which are so cute. I really like how all that came together. Next, this layout is um, some photos of my husband. Uh, we got some donuts for his birthday. Um, I finally got to use these stickers that I've had forever from Dollar Tree. And it says kindness is free, sprinkle that stuff everywhere. Um, and I got to use some fun donut stickers on there. So I like how that turned out too with all the donuts. I love donuts. Okay, next, this is kind of like a double layout. Um, these photos are from the same day. Um, so this is um, layouts I created from this like uh, layout kit that I got. Um, it's probably super old. I don't even remember the name of it or anything, but it told you like exactly where to put all these pre-cut pages, um, pre-cut um, papers, and it had where to put like your embellishments and everything like that. So that came together super quickly. I really liked that, that it made it really easy to um, get these layouts done. Next, this is called Star Wars Noob. It has a fun shaker on here that I made um, the sequin mitts for. Um, and this is just documenting a photo of um, episode one, The Phantom Menace of the Star Wars movies. Um, a while ago, this is like pre-quarantine, me and my husband, we sat down and watched all the Star Wars movies together. So that's just kind of documenting that. These frames are from Maggie Holmes' open book, and then um, the background paper is from Maggie Holmes' shine. And I also added um, some 
mixed media to the background as well. Wanted to add in more um, blue, silver, and gold. This layout is called I Am Finally a Flanagan, and it is documenting how I finally got my new license with my new last name. Um, it took me a long time to go and like change my last name after we got married just because that's such a process. Um, so this is just kind of documenting that. Um, the background paper is from Dear Lizzie, I believe. I also got to add in some more mixed media. Um, and then the stickers are all from um, Simple Stories I Am Collection, the one from like 2015, which I'm almost, almost done with. Um, I just have a couple like stickers left. I don't even think I have full pages anymore. So I'm excited to get that done and kill that kit. This layout I definitely shared on my Instagram. Um, and it's just my 2019 story. Um, so all of this is from Maggie Holmes Open Book. Again, that's a collection I'm trying to like use up um, and get out of my stash because I love it, but I love it even more when I use it. Um, so if you are like me and you want to just like hoard everything forever, use your stash. That's what it's there for. I encourage you to do that because um, look how great things turn out when you actually use the things you love. Okay, um, this layout is called I Am Fabulous. It's just some photos of me after I got my hair cut and colored. Um, and these papers are from the I Am collection again. These super cool embellishments um, I bought on Etsy. Um, I think they're from the shop called My Divine Inspiration. I'll link her down below as well. She makes the most beautiful, intricate, like layered, um, embellishments that I've ever seen and she sells them on her Etsy shop. They're super cool. Uh, definitely check out her shop if you're someone who struggles with making your own embellishments like I do. Um, I love when I receive handmade embellishments from people because it's just so time consuming to make them so layered and detailed. Um, so I really enjoyed getting to use these on a layout. And then finally, this is our last layout. Um, it's just kind of some photos I mean, my husband, we got to go out to eat and uh, we got like a coupon thing for our volunteer work. So it's called Hello Grateful Smile. This is mostly Dear Lizzie stuff. Um, so Dear Lizzie um, Stargazer and Dear Lizzie She's Magic. And of course, I've said this before, I love to use birds for me and my husband uh, just to represent us. So that is everything I have to share with you all today. I will be back hopefully soon with another layout share video of all the layouts I've created for our Santa Fe trip that we took last year. Um, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you liked down below and I'll see you all in the next crafty video. Bye.